What's up, guys? All muscle. Signing in. Yeah, I know you can't believe it, but it's the truth. I'm back. Here I am. I haven't made a, few, a video for you guys in quite some time. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, a lot of stuff been happening in the world, and i kind of just uh, been hanging out. I've still been working. I uh, just haven't made any videos, but uh, I'm going to put up a couple videos here. Uh, show you what's new, what I've been working on. Uh, this is my current project right now. I've got uh, these two uh, 14 model year Mustang GTs. They're both premium packs. Uh, this red one here, uh, pretty pretty major accident. Uh, got salvaged out. Uh, but this one here, this is a nice car. I, I had uh, picked this up maybe about three months back, and um, I've been actually I was thinking about putting my uh, Boss 302 motor uh, build that I was working on uh, the last time you guys seen some of my videos, but uh, I think I'm going to keep that. I just want to put this uh, motor from this car into this one for now and then use this one possibly as a driver. This one's got about 90,000 miles on I think it's like 92 or something like that. Uh, but we picked this one up. Uh, like I said, it's involved in a wreck, uh, but it's got a 40,000 mile uh, drivetrain in here uh, and we're going to swap that out. They're both automatic cars. Uh, so we're going to just basically uh, remove, well, we've already removed the one out of there, uh, and basically just pluck it, drop it in. Let me show you this one here. Oh, I'll find the key. So this one uh, is a 14 model year. It's got the premium pack Agreed. with a nice cluster Agreed. on it. It's got 48,000 miles on it. Uh, it. Runs beautifully. No issues. Uh, we drove it, believe it or not, we drove it off the trailer uh, in its condition. The the, uh, uh, the front wheel is, uh, this front wheel here on the left hand side is kind of just wobbling around so we had, we kind of had to skirt it out to get it in here because uh, it kind of just kicks over and locks in one position. Lower ball joint is separated. So anyways, uh, we got that done. Uh, let me show you the under the hood of this one. This one we've already made the uh, the extraction. We did the extraction on the on the drivetrain already. And uh, we went ahead and cleaned it up. So this is uh, your Mustang GT here, guys. If you have one without the engine, this is what it looks like on here. You've got your electronic steering module down there. This one's already been pulled. I'll show you the engine there in a minute. But uh, believe it or not, these uh, these 14 model cars, uh, 13 actually, 13 and 14 was the uh, last of the uh, 197 chassis. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, let me show you the inside of these. Uh, this one here. Uh, but believe it or not, uh, going back to what I was saying, the uh, <clears throat> the cars are kind of hard to find. The uh, the 13 and 14 model year cars, uh, they're extremely hard to find. And uh, to get a good deal on one is is kind of uh, few and far between. I, I, I had a I had a really tough. Time. This car is actually impeccable in here. It's 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 really nice. The interior uh, is excellent. The seats are excellent uh, for having ninety thousand miles on it. Uh, the door panels are shit. Everything in here looks pretty new. Uh, so whoever had this did did a decent job keeping it up. But for some reason at ninety thousand miles, uh, the motor seized on it, uh, which you know for for a coyote I, I've I've seen them I've seen them in, in work trucks hell with uh good you know 200,000 miles on and uh, they've been working you know uh, so i don't know and uh, back behind an automatic this car th this is the uh, transplant here out of that car um 90,000 miles back behind an automatic uh you know usually uh they last a bit longer um you know from my uh previous uh experience with like let's say uh, a two valve uh SN95 car uh you know I, when i do a motor transplant i was i was always looking for an automatic uh, back motor because uh, you know I knew uh, that they were uh, less abused usually is the case anyway but anyways this this motor here is seized I, I couldn't turn the crankshaft uh, by hand the starter couldn't turn it it, it was just absolutely frozen so uh, we're gonna get a tear down on this going here uh, pretty soon and see what the heck's wrong with it uh, hopefully it's got a good rebuildable core uh, and we'll be able to do something with it or I might just sell it as is um, but anyways, uh, we're going to pull the engine on this red one, uh, pretty much uh, drop it in as is. Just the way you saw that one there sitting, 
uh, we're going to plug it with the motor and trans in one shot and then just drive it right over here on the cherry picker and uh, drop it right in and uh, this car should be hell uh, it'll only take a couple hours well, I'll probably make three four hours and we'll have this thing running but uh, that'll be kind of uh, kind of fun actually this would be my my first SN 195 with the five liter uh, uh, that I actually get to drive around I, I, I've, I've torn I've turned them down and uh, you know we, we've got the uh, uh, the newer chassis uh, the 15 and up cars we tore those down uh, and but uh, these like I said these 13 and 14 mile and I was actually after a 13 and 14 uh, the reason uh, being is uh, they were the last uh, of that chassis of the 197 like I was telling you and the last uh, you know usually the last of the generation you know they've worked all the quirks out of it uh, it's usually the most refined and and the uh, the uh, better of the vehicles uh, if you would if you would you know uh, the you know same thing with the SN95 the SN95 you know the uh, the 0304 model years that's when the Terminator came out uh, it was you know the, the 0304 GTs that were the nicest of their you know of the uh, uh, you know the run there so and that's the same thing that that you know goes for most cars actually uh, you know for Mercedes uh, speaking of Mercedes I got another 550 up here AMG pack uh, we're gonna be tearing this one down I needed some parts uh, and we're gonna put those wheels on my wife's CDI so and then we actually upgraded the 550 brakes and put them on the CDI uh, the one that my wife my wife drives here this one here is a little nice driver that I get uh, 40 miles to the gallon in and my wife drives it she loves it it's a diesel car and you know uh, these 550s tell you're lucky if you get 14 miles to the gallon on the you know on the on the streets here maybe maybe 16 17 18 max on the highway and that's like cruising it but uh, yeah these these are gas guzzling cars right here I'll tell you that so uh, you know I've had my 550s and, and uh, E55s and whatnot but uh, for gas mileage and, and uh, everyday use you can't beat those CDIs but anyways guys uh, this is the current project right now and like I said we're gonna get this pretty much extracted out of here and put it in here. look at this damn look at all these footprints in here I had a damn squirrel in here so I, I, I left him some of this uh, some of this nice bait that might give him a stomachache so hopefully it's not going to be coming back anytime soon because look at all these paw prints everywhere and uh, you know I, I don't like these uh, rodents getting in the cars that you know uh, randomly you know uh, you know they might just come in here and chew on a, on, a, on a few wires or some hoses or you know they, they actually like shredding the material off off of this stuff and using it for their nest so I really don't like seeing footprints and uh, stuff like that in my vehicles. Uh, but this guy's uh, kind of new. I think he's I think he's a young, young squirrel or something. Uh, he's kind of new around here. Uh, he doesn't really know that the uh, that the people around here aren't too friendly uh, to the, uh, to the rodents. So, anyways, uh, if we catch him, we're gonna give him we're gonna give him something else too. So, uh, you guys uh, stay tuned. We're gonna put this in there, uh, and then I'll show you this vehicle here when it when it's uh, fully run. You can see it's kind of. Sitting up a little high right there because there's no engine on, uh, weight on the front end. Uh, it'll bring that back down. But I'm going to try to use this as my daily. Uh, if uh, somebody doesn't want to pluck it up off of me, you know, that's what happens. I ended up selling the cars, you know, before I get to drive them or, or uh, use them. But uh, that just means I go get another one. But uh, you guys take care. Uh, it was nice doing this video. You guys, I uh, haven't seen you in a while. Hopefully, uh, I'll do some more videos here and uh, keep you updated uh, on what's going on. This is my boss video too, you guys. Uh, to get a car cover for it I mean, it's been 140 degrees every freaking day around here I, you know the the, the seat wave in, in california has been uh, really taking a toll on a lot of things uh, you know cars don't like it uh, you know my, my yard my garden doesn't like it Shit, we don't like it you know the animals don't like it my dogs my bees uh, they you know no, nobody like no, nothing likes the heat like this so uh hopefully we're uh turning the corner with the seat wave here uh, coming up uh, happy fourth to you guys actually uh, the fourth was yesterday happy fourth to you guys uh yeah i got a don't ask me what this is this is a honda motor but uh yeah i got a buddy of mine pretty much uh i don't know he, he practically got on his knees and begged me to do this uh, motor swap for him because uh, his kid needs to drive his uh, car back and forth to uh, los angeles uh, from here it's about a i don't know an hour and a half drive every day he's got to drive it back and forth to work and uh, he, he pretty much begged me to do it and uh, it's almost gonna be the last time <clears throat> uh, I really don't like doing work for uh, you know um, anything that's not mine or, or something that that uh, that I don't generally work on I really don't like doing it but uh, you know we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
keep them in the family and, and get that done for them. Anyways, uh, also I might do a video on this guy here. Uh, we're going to tear it down and, and uh, see what it is uh, that's holding it up. We, uh, we took one of the valve covers off uh, and uh, uh, checked out the chains. The chains look good. Uh, so I, you know, I figured one of the, the chains might have skipped or something. Uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's again, it's savable and we can, we can do something with it. Or, uh, like I said, I might just sell it as is. Uh, I know these, uh, these shorties here, uh, off the, uh, the, uh, earlier 5.0s like this one, uh, are, uh, are used in the SM95 swap. So, uh, my son's looking to do an SM95 swap. Maybe he can use those for his car. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to cut it short on this one and, uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. You guys take care, be safe, and I'll, I'll check you, uh, I'll check you sh uh, shortly.